Hello everyone, I've got another journal to share today and this is one I made for the craft fair. So it's kind of in this craft fair series of videos that I'm trying to get out before I go and sell these things. It's the first time I've done a booth at a craft fair. So this journal, I've made a little closure with a scrap I had. I don't know where it came from, but it's a little yellow elastic. And this was in my fabric scrap. And I stapled this little beady gem thing on. It's trim. What is this trim with beads on it? And then I glued this butterfly on too. And that also was a scrap as well. And I was kind of going with like yellow, green, and neutrals as a theme here. And then this is a, the Tim Holtz... I don't remember what it's called exactly, but it's this uh, journal cover. It's got these two holes here. And then I've covered those with uh, some flowers, just hot glued them on. And then it has this binder attachment that comes separately, uh, rings. And let me see here, move this aside. Can you see that? That's a Brad paper fastener. And so it goes through the holes and then, and you just close it that way. It's slightly wobbly. I don't know if I could do that better, but anyway, it's really versatile. And I love the look, it's pretty. I don't have to do much to it. So I'm gonna leave it like that, the cover. And then I've embellished it. And this is how the cover comes like this. I think it comes in a two pack, maybe, if I remember correctly. You get two of these. And then when you buy this, you get two of these. Uh, I found them probably at Tuesday morning or something for some screaming deal. So that was great. Another scrap here. So mostly I used scraps. I glued these corners on to make a little pocket. And then I have this card and this scrap that I turned into a card to use. And I love that with the rings, you can change where things are. And I like to use thicker paper than I would in my stitched journals because then there it's harder to tear the holes, which I'm really good at tearing binder holes. So uh, this one, I don't, it looks like I don't have something in there. So I'll grab a little scrap here and I left it open on two of the sides so that you can tuck things in. But I have said in the past, if you've watched my channel before that I don't know, I can't think, I don't like to leave things completely white. And so since this isn't stained or dyed, uh, yep, yeah, I added some scraps. And then this flips open and I added this little uh, tab there. And you'll probably see me plucking out debris every now and then. Let me see if I can get better centered here. Uh, yeah, so there's a scrap there I glued on. Looks like I glued it to itself there for a bit. And then this was a tiny little scrap. I loved this little paper and it was a tiny scraps from some boxes I made, but sometimes if I just love the pattern, I keep even the tiniest of scraps and this is what it's great for. Just add a little color to the page there. This flips out and it was a torn edge and I think that's beautiful just like that. And that's how it was in my scrap bin. I like to leave it that way. I think I've also done some corners and things here. So I've rounded some corners and then this was a scrap of a canvas I had there. This was from a scrap of paper and I fussy cut out the portion of the butterfly that was there. This I had in my stash of things. And then this is a card that I punched the edges on and there's another scrap. You're gonna hear scrap a lot probably. And I just like how that looks there. And this one you can kind of see I've done the corners with a special corner punch. I rediscovered my corner punch. I'm like, why haven't I been using this? I love this little paper. I just added it to just go with the greens and yellows theme. And this was a die cut. I think somehow maybe I got the edge of it. And so it's been in my stash for a while with it's not completely circular, you know, self. And I thought, well, that's a great straight edge that could go on the edge of a paper as a tab. So there it is not being wasted. And on this side, I've embellished a little. Here's this little beautiful dyed scrap. This is a uh, paper folder folded over, excuse me, and uh, glued on the sides there to make a side tuck there. And I think I, I this uh, back side of this paper was really bright pink and it just didn't go with my theme. So I covered it with the more neutral color there. Put a little bow here. I love this sunset paper and this is 
what is this called acetate right um and it's printed so i just kind of glued just the edges i didn't want you can't really see the glue too much even though my pin was rusting and coloring my glue orange but yeah so and it serves as a tiny little tuck there as well and then this is folded up here and glued here to make this pocket scraps these were not i didn't cut these smaller except for a tiny bit they were in my scrap bin and they're great for little toppers of tags with the tiny attacher stapler love that had that and then i thought hey washi yeah so these just go great don't they the two colors i don't even know if it's the same company but yeah anyway and i love this paper and oh look i did leave one white congratulations i had this successful and you know that's okay right so there's some planner paper that's scrap and cut down some more little washi here i i thought you know i like this hardiness zone came out of a garden book but it's got some brightness and i was going with kind of muted and so i've kind of added things so that if that was something too much then it could be covered up and then this is an envelope that I added some colors to there. I was really kind of hiding the fact that it was, um, what do you call it, used. And so it'd been opened, so it wasn't perfect there. So yeah, you can't tell now. Then this is a flip up. I've added some washi to be a little grab tag tab there. And then again, you know, I like that some of the words show through, but I also, want it to look finished in a sense and so this was a scrap of beautiful wrapping paper i've had forever and so i just covered some of the lettering in there and i like how that turned out and uh then we have another scrap here this is some vellum paper with scraps here and then this was cut off here but again i was like that doesn't bother me because i'm going to use it as a tab so i i love i couldn't toss out this dragonfly moth thing i think it's a moth actually so uh and then here's this scrap this is one of those time cards i've had and i folded it up and glued this side so as to function as a pocket there it's not really embellished so that one's a blank canvas there and then some matte paper out of a planner that's been probably coffee dyed it's been a while so i don't remember exactly some of this uh what is this ledger paper i think that uh this and the time card I got a long time ago from a tattered dream on Etsy, is it? I'm not sure. And uh, there's another little hint of washi, and then finally the last page there. So I really like how that turned out. I don't want it to be over embellished, but I wanted it to be something that someone wouldn't have to embellish further if they were not so inclined to do so. Well, there it is. And where will your imagination take you today? Let your creativity soar. Thanks for watching. Bye.